we have had extensive discussions uh, with different people, including religious leaders from different uh, religious denominations, groups, Taoists, Christians, Muslims, Hindus, various others. We have had discussions with grassroots leaders from Singaporeans uh, or with Singaporeans from many different backgrounds, all walks of life. We have had discussions with LGBT groups and many more. And the general sense of the discussion is this. Many agree that men who have sex with each other should not be thrown into prison. Gay sex should not be criminalized. At the same time, most do not want any decriminalization to cause other major changes. Uh, in particular, most people that we have spoken with want the current position on marriage to be retained. And the current position is that the law defines marriage as being between a man and a woman. People don't want that to change. And people also do not want any change to the current policies that take reference from this definition of marriage. The government understands this view. In fact, we were aware of it even as I spoke in Parliament in March. And you know, discussing with Singaporeans has sort of you know, confirmed that. We are now considering how best to achieve this balance. The two questions we are dealing with are therefore, one, what is to be done with Section 377A? And two, at the same time, we are also considering how can we safeguard the current legal position on marriage from being challenged in the courts so that it does not get challenged like the way Section 377A was with a series of cases. These matters really ought to be discussed in Parliament and decided in Parliament and not decided in the courts. Pink Dot held its rally on 18th of June this year. Uh, there were many speeches. There were various calls to action. Likewise, the people who organized the Protect Singapore Town Hall exercised their rights. Uh, my ministry, MHA, has looked at it. Protect Singapore didn't break any laws in holding the town hall. We will step in if there is any incitement, attacks, or running down of any groups by either side. Uh, now I've made that clear several times. Our duty is to protect the safety of everyone. We can expect more of this as both sides seek to get hurt. And these events really illustrate what the government has been saying for a long time, that if one side pushes, then there will be a pushback. And we have seen this happen in many countries. If it happens here in Singapore, we are a very small place. Uh, the ruptures will tear our social fabric apart, cause a lot of harm. This is why the government has been advocating moderation, uh, moving carefully, not push positions which can damage society. Passions can run high. Uh, people genuinely believe in one or another view with great intensity. And we have to try and deal with the issues with an open mind and open heart, avoid extreme positions, and uh, avoid extreme demands, move forward, try and be united, work on our differences in a calm way for the sake of Singapore. Well, there are two parts. There is, you know, as I said, the, we have uh, changed the laws. We are very clear. If there is any incitement, if there is any uh, sort of call for attacks or running down of another religion or race or groups, uh, whether, say, the gay community or the religious community, we will move in. Short of that, of course, you, you know, there is a broad range of things that can be said and manner in which it can be said. And there we can only counsel uh, you know, good sense.